It's time for exciting live and local sports action on Richmond's very own WBON-TV, the leader in local sports television. Watch live on your big screen with the WBON-TV Roku channel or by streaming the live player at WBONTV.com. And support these great local sponsors who support our community. Now, here's your announcers for the game. Good evening, folks, and welcome in to Rockcastle County. We are live here tonight for the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference. It is the 7th grade and 8th grade conference championship games here this evening. Glad to have you along for a fun night of football. A champion will be crowned in both the 7th grade and 8th grade games. We are live here on the Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance pregame show. Like a good neighbor, State Farm and Jerry Goble are there. Visit jerrygobleinsurance.com to learn more about the insurance you may not even know that you need at Jerry Goble State Farm. Here live inside the Gateway Cycles broadcast booth, and it's a great night for football. A lot of rain earlier today, and it carried over from last night, so the field is a little bit wet, but these kids are excited to get out there and crown a champion this evening. And here in the seventh grade game, we have Rockcastle County taking on Caudill, and we know about the tradition of the Caudill Middle School program, the great success that they've had over there. Now A.J. Chandler, the head coach of the 8th grade squad and the 7th grade team also looking to bring home a championship. We're glad to have you along, folks, and we appreciate all of our great sponsors. Tonight's game is presented by Brewer Development Company and Affordable Service Solutions, HVAC. We're also brought to you by Eagle Contracting and also the Team Land Snail Realty Group and Denim and Blythe Company, also a great sponsor of tonight's games. We appreciate you hanging out with us, and we're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll preview the matchup between Rockcastle County and Cottle. It is the CMSAC 7th grade championship game coming up on WBON-TV. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. So, the I'll get there quick plumbing guy got there quick. But he left just as quick. He did fix the leak in the kitchen drain. Yeah, too bad this is the bathroom. And that isn't even the culprit. Ah, there she is. At Mr. Ritter Plumbing, why do we go through an exhaustive 14-point checklist? To make sure we fix even the problem behind the problem. 
Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing plan. Back here on WBON TV and the Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance pregame show. Tonight's game is brought to you by Affordable Service Solutions HVAC. They are a full service heating and air conditioning company based in Richmond, Kentucky. We're also brought to you by Eagle Contracting at 1795 Alley Sheba Way at Unit. 6204 Eagle Contracting is an established commercial contractor based in Lexington. We're also brought to you by a Brewer Development Company. Previous developments include pharmacies, restaurants, office buildings, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and medical clinics. Call Eric today at 859-475-3931 for your development plans in your industry. And we're brought to you by Team Land Snail Realty Group, local real estate father and daughter team, family-owned business serving your real estate needs. You can give them a call today at 859-544-3931. 2761 and Denim Blythe Company is a design build company in Lexington specializing in industrial health care distribution, manufacturing, and office construction. Visit their website at denim blythe.com. Here on WBON TV, we get you set for the CMSAC Conference Championship Games. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Should be some fun ones tonight. The kickoff for the seventh grade game is first. It is five minutes away between Rockcastle County and Cottle. We'll take another three-minute commercial break and come back for the kickoff as these two games, these two teams get set to square off for the right to be called champion. Back in three minutes, folks, we're live on WBON-TV. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. At CT Diesel Performance, they promise not to do anything to your vehicle that they wouldn't do to their own. Chris Thorne and the gang don't just work on diesel vehicles either. They also repair all auto gas vehicles and are fully serviced and ready to take on any job. Nothing is too big or too small for CT Diesel Performance. Located just off exit 97, CT Diesel can even come get your car if you have a problem while driving down I-75. CT Diesel Performance in Richmond and at ctdiesel.us. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. At the Estill Clinic and Urban Healthcare Pharmacies, we make it our mission to care for all of your pharmacy needs as quickly and conveniently as possible. Whether you need a prescription filled, an immunization, or help with an over-the-counter need, our pharmacists are here to help. Both of our Estill County locations offer text and call reminders, automatic refills, and medication synchronization, and are equipped with drive throughs All of these services help us save you time and make sure you always have the medication you need. Stop in or give us a call today. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and Lancaster. 
For your car, home, farm, or business, Linville Insurance offers preferred pricing from more than 40 top-rated companies. With our state-of-the-art technology, we do business the way you want it, virtually where everything is handled electronically or in person at one of our two locations. Linville Insurance, where our values haven't changed. Treat people the way you want to be treated, always do what's right, help others, and give good advice. That's what you can expect from Linville Insurance. Come see what makes Linville Insurance unlike any other agency in the area. Call or click today. On the Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance pregame show, like a good neighbor, Jerry Goble and State Farm are there. Visit jerrygobleinsurance.com to learn more. Appreciate you being with us here, folks, on a Thursday night. Normally it's Friday night lights. Tonight it's Thursday night lights here as the middle school teams take the stage. And we will have a champion crown in both the 7th and 8th grades here in the CMSAC Conference Championship. It was about two or three weeks ago where we had the conference championships on the middle school girls side. Middle school girls basketball was decided about two or three weeks ago. We saw Rockcastle County's sixth grade team, Foley's seventh grade team, and Clark Moore's eighth grade team win the CMSAC conference championships in girls basketball. And then, of course, tonight we've got middle school football for you with the 7th and 8th grade championships on the line here at Rockcastle County High School. Folks, we do want to remind you, as we fight the coronavirus pandemic, to do your part in trying to slow the spread of this virus. A lot of counties in the red, Rockcastle County, one of them right now. And we got to do our part to try to slow the spread of this virus by washing your hands, wearing your mask, social distancing when possible, and always remember to uh, do your part as we can try to slow the spread of this coronavirus here in the state of Kentucky. We are a few seconds away from the kickoff here tonight, and it looks like Madison Central and Rockcastle County's high school team is going to have some Nice future up-and-comers. We've already had one middle school game for you this week on Tuesday. Now we were over in Berea as the Berea middle school team faced Foley in a great game. That one came down to the wire, and Foley ended up defeating Berea on Tuesday night. And then again here tonight, we've got middle school action for you again with the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference. As we preview tonight's game, we'll see a lot of, again, really good players and one that sticks out. For this seventh grade team, uh, if you look at the crews, uh, uh, Ryan Cremines, Cannon Cook, some of these guys playing some football for A.J. Cottle and his team. Jordan Goolsby, a great speed, huge for a sixth grader. So that'll be interesting to pay attention to tonight as well. And Austin Tremblay moved to Richmond from California. Big, strong, physical player. You got uh, Jonas West, a sixth grader, very athletic, will likely get some carries as a seventh grader next season. Looking down this lineup for Coach A.J. Chandler. And then the seventh grade coach and offensive coordinator is Dustin Brumbaugh. So he's going to be the head coach here the seventh grade game. Coach Chandler will coach the eighth grade squad. And, again, those two, those two guys and doing a great job with this football program. We saw what David Hensley did last year, his team going undefeated, making it to the state championship game and winning that. And we're seeing uh, a lot of these kids that are playing at the middle school level eventually end up and have big roles at Madison Central. And looking up at the game tomorrow, of course, Kenyatta Hards leads the team in rushing touchdowns. He was an eighth grader last year at Cottle. And we know what kind of year he has had as a freshman at Madison Central. Kenyatta off to a good start in his football career. But have a delayed start for tonight as the two teams out there still getting warmed up. And tonight, Cotto will be in the black road uniform, the black home uniforms. They'll have the black pants, red numbers, red letters outlined in white for Rockcastle County. They'll be in the red uniforms, the navy pants, and the navy numbers and letters outlined in white for the Rockets. We'll take another commercial break, folks, and come back. Middle school football is on the way here in the CMSAC Conference Championship Games. A champion will be crowned in the 7th and 8th grade games tonight. That's coming your way here on WBON-TV. 
Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. We all know that Madison HVAC is the leader in residential and commercial heating and air in Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. But did you know that they are now introducing Madison Remodeling Services? That's right, you're going to get the same great service for everything. Not only for your heating and air services, but the construction and remodeling services as well. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC now offers complete remodeling services for Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC. We fix that too. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with Cirac. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0201. Being prepared for various types of disasters is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of your family, friends, and community. The Madison County Emergency Management Agency and the Chemical Stockpile Emergency Preparedness Program is here and ready to support community emergency response. For how to be prepared, make emergency kits, know your zone, and shelter-in-place information, contact EMA CSEP at 624-4787 or visit madisoncountyky.us forward slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP, your partner in preparedness. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cub Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goebel today. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. So, the I'll get there quick plumbing guy got there quick. But he left just as quick. He did fix the leak in the kitchen drain. Yeah, too bad this is the bathroom. And that isn't even the culprit. Ah, there she is. At Mr. Ritter Plumbing, why do we go through an exhaustive 14-point checklist? To make sure we fix even the problem behind the problem. 
Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing plan. We're back on WBON TV in the Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance pregame show. We were talking about the coronavirus earlier in the pregame show here and looking ahead to high school football, which again will kick off tomorrow. Due to COVID, as of right now, there have been 40 cancellations this week of high school football games. And folks, the playoffs kick off in 15 days. So we are right around the corner from the high school football playoffs and this pandemic spiking yet again here in the state. Again, 40 cancellations this week due to COVID-19. So as we get, a, get ready to play some high school football tomorrow, if your team is playing, you are lucky right now. And we were looking at Madison County earlier today on the newscast and saw the, the, the number that Madison County was at. If Madison County continues over the next couple of days to see an increase in cases, most likely they're going to end up in the red by Sunday or Monday. So what we could see next week is a, an interesting situation. But keep in mind that next week's Madison Central game is going to be in Madison County as they travel to Berea to take on their in-county rival, Madison Southern. So even if Madison County was to enter into the red for one week, it might be a case where they still play that game considering it is Central versus Southern. We are about 90 seconds away. The delay of the start time was that there was a, a wreck on the interstate and that the, one of these officials, or a couple of the officials were running late because of that. But they're both out there now. All three officials are here. And we're getting you set for some middle school football between Cottle and Rockcastle County here at Rockcastle County. We're glad to have you along, and it should be a couple of good games tonight. Try to see who can take home a championship. Again, it was a couple of weeks ago we had the middle school girls basketball games here in the conference championships. We saw Rockcastle County win the sixth grade game, Foley win the seventh grade championship, and Clark Moores win the eighth grade championship. And we just had the coin toss again this year. No players out there doing the coin toss because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Just the two head coaches. And letting the official to kind of see which team won the coin toss. And looks like Cottle is going to go left to right. Rockcastle County will go right to left if you are hanging out with us here on WBON TV. Our crew tonight, Austin Hanks, your producer, Alex Carbosh, your cameraman, and we are about to kick off with some high or middle school football action here at Rockcastle County. It is the CM SAC Conference Championships, and our games tonight are brought to you by Denim Blythe Company. Brewer Development. Team Land Snail Realtors, Yeagle Contracting and Affordable Service Solutions. Looks like the Rockets are going to kick off. Again, Rockcastle County will be in the red uniforms and the white helmets. Cottle in the black uniforms and the black helmets for the Spartans. Appreciate you hanging out with us here on a Thursday night. A lot of football this week on WBON. Of course, we had the Foley-Berea game Tuesday. These games tonight, high school football tomorrow. Kicking off for the Rockets. Braden Campbell, the seventh grader. Looks like back to return for... The Spartans is Davion DeBruce leads the team in touchdowns this year. Got great speed, gets most of the carries for this Colorado Spartan seventh grade team. As Campbell will get set to kick things off. Appreciate you hanging out with us here. And middle school football about to be underway. Campbell, the seventh grader, will kick it off with his seventh grade 
championship game of the CM SAC. Waiting on the official to blow the whistle. There we go. And here is the kickoff. A little squib kick to get things started. Taken by an up man from Cottle and down at the 40-yard line. And that's where the Spartans will begin the opening drive of this game here at Rock Castle County. The Spartans football team, a lot of speed on the roster on both sides of the ball. And this ball will be set up at the 40-yard line on the left hash mark. Again, Cottle going left to right. Bryce Bentley is the quarterback for the Spartans. Only a sixth grader, so playing up as the quarterback of the seventh grade team. And they'll give it to DeBruce on the opening play, and he'll slip and fall. He'll lose a couple of yards. Closest man to him was Connor Wright, the seventh grader for Rock Castle County. So second down and 12 coming up for the Spartans. Ball now more in the middle of the field. A little bunch formation in the backfield. Now they move the quarterback to the left side, and DeBruce will take a direct snap in the Wildcat formation. High snap, DeBruce being chased. He'll take off, and he's got room to run on the left sideline. He'll make a move. He's wrapped up and still turning forward. Down to the 36-yard line, a first down for the Spartans. And on a play that looked like it might be a two- or three-yard loss, DeBruce makes one-man miss and flies down the field, down to the Rock Castle County 36-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Cottle from there. DeBruce will get the bulk of the touches. Now he'll line up. To the right side is more of a wing position. And they'll go power with an eye formation. DeBruce in motion. And we'll have a flag come in. And I believe this will be a false start against the Spartans. And it will be. So back them up five. And we'll go to first and 15 from the 41 of Rock Castle County. Again, this ball on the left hash mark. A minute into the ball game. Cottle looking to strike first here in the CMSAC Conference Championship seventh grade game. The Spartans team, a few really good years back to back and looking to do it yet again as they get the play call in from Coach Brumbaugh. DeBruce is going to take the direct snap again. This time he'll run right side. Pressured in the backfield, and he is going to stay on his feet. Finally wrapped up, able to get back some yardage, but he'll be tackled at the 42-yard line, a loss of three. And that will bring up a second and long for the – it'll be a loss of a yard. So the forward progress gives him a loss of one yard. It would have been a loss of three had he not broken that first tackle. So second down and 16 for the Spartans. Bentley is the quarterback. They send to Bruce in motion, give it to him on the jet sweep. He runs right into a tackler at the 42-yard line. No gain, third and long coming up for the Spartans. Great defense by Rockcastle County as they read that one perfectly. They try the jet sweep to DeBruce, and he is tackled immediately. So third and long coming up. We have yet to see a pass from the Spartans offense on this opening drive. Four and a half to play in quarter number one from the conference championship game of the CMSAC. Bentley, the sixth grader, sends the Bruce in motion. They'll fake it to him, a little end around action. And this one could be a big play. It's going to be a six touchdown coming up for Cottle. What a play. They fake the handoff to DeBruce. He draws the attention and the touchdown for Cottle. Is scored by number 26. That is Austin Tremblay.
And they're going to go for two. Trying to make this an eight-point ball game. 4.09 left to play. And the Spartans on the board first. DeBruce in motion. They give it off to him again. Up the middle. And the two-point conversion is good. Cottle strikes first. They lead eight to nothing here in the CMSAC Conference Championship. We'll come back in one minute on WBON TV. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-9 being prepared for various types of disasters is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of your family, friends, and community. The Madison County Emergency Management Agency and the Chemical Stockpile Emergency Preparedness Program is here and ready to support community emergency response. For how to be prepared, make emergency kits, know your zone, and shelter in place information, contact EMA CSEP at 624-4787 or visit madisoncountyky.us forward slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP, your partner in preparedness on WBON TV Tremblay with the touchdown 409 left to play and the Spartans will kick it off after the TD Tremblay will do the kicking duties a nice high kick returnable from the 26 yard line coming near side the return man for Rock Castle County good speed here and he is going to be pushed out of bounds and slung down near midfield at about the 48-yard line. A nice return by number 23, Xavier Leger. Ledger. Leger. Xavier Leger. The seventh grader. Showing off the speed there. Halfway through the first quarter, four minutes remaining. Only seven-minute quarters here in the championship game. And Rock Castle County will go with the I formation. Two receivers, one on each side. They'll hand it off and room to run for the running back. Here on the near side, Cottle trying to rip it loose, but a great job by Isaiah Jackson to hold on to that football and pick up the first down for the Rockets. They'll spot this one at the 37-yard line, and Jackson got a big hole from that offensive line. Take one more look at that one. Fifteen yard pickup. Ball on the left hash mark for the Rockets. Formation again is I with two receivers, one each way. They'll give it to Jackson on the late handoff. Left side he goes. First down again. Tackled by McElwee of Cottle. And back-to-back -back nice runs by Isaiah Jackson. Formation again. I like the way this Rock Castle County offense is ran. You can see as they delay the handoff to Jackson, he picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back big plays. Appreciate Austin Hanks, our producer, on the replay there. It is 8 nothing. 3.15 left to play. This ball now at the 25-yard line. 17-yard or a 12-yard pickup. Now on the quarterback keeper, this is going to be trouble for Rock Castle as Bullock rolled out right after the fake handoff and it looked like he was going to try to keep it. Great defensive play by the Cottle defense as they sniff it out and get the tackle. Yeah, the play is there. You can see he read it perfectly and a great job by the Spartan defense to back it up. Now at the 36-yard line, second down and long. It's time to go back to the tailback. A lot of room to run on the left side, and that is Leaguer again. 8 nothing lead for the Spartans of Cottle. And a nice play. That is the third time they have ran the football off the left tackle side, and it has ended up in big plays on all three occasions. 
So third and short for the Rockets. They try to get down the field and get on the board themselves on their opening drive. Try to answer what Cottle did. Bullock going to hand it off again. It's Jackson. Blockers in front. And he will have a first and goal for Rock Castle County as he bounces off the tackle of McElwee. Stays on his feet. Never went down. Runs out of bounds. And it will be a first and goal for the Rockets. Don't be shocked if Rock Castle County continues to have success running off that left edge. If the Spartans start to maybe stack that side with some more defenders. It's first and goal as we dip under two minutes to play in the first quarter. Bullock will hand it off and breaking a tackle and running into the end zone. Touchdown, Rock Castle County, Isaiah Jackson. And the Rockets answer the long drive from Cottle with a long drive of their own. And it is a 8-6 lead for Cottle. Two-point conversion pending. Bullock will go up under center. The right left side to Jackson again. He is hit and tackled by Trim Lay. But the Rockets are on the board. 149 left to play in the first. It's 8-6. We're coming back in one minute on WBON-TV. At the Estill Clinic and Irvin Healthcare Pharmacies, we make it our mission to care for all of your pharmacy needs as quickly and conveniently as possible. Whether you need a prescription filled, an immunization, or help with an over-the-counter need, our pharmacists are here to help. Both of our Estill County locations offer text and call reminders, automatic refills, and medication synchronization, and are equipped with drive throughs All of these services help us save you time and make sure you always have the medication you need. Stop in or give us a call today. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. We're back on WBON TV following the kickoff. The Spartans fall on it at the 50 yard line. So they'll take over from there following the touchdown on the opening drive. It was Tremblay who got it in the end zone for the Spartans on that opening drive after a big play on third and long. He got it in the end zone. And Isaiah Jackson from Rockcastle County had the answer. It is an 8-6 lead, two-point conversion. The difference thus far, 147 left to play in the first. They're going to hand it off. Tremblay again. Left side he runs, and he's running over people. Going to be close to a first down on the far sideline. Looks like he's got the first at around the 39-yard line. Rockets down by just two. Clock still churning here in the first quarter. Finally up under center. They send to Bruce in motion. Right to left. And they hand it off Tremblay again, and a nice tackle made by the Spartans. Tackle made by Bullock, the quarterback for Rock Castle County. Cottle gets it down to the 37-yard line. It'll be second and eight for the Spartans. Less than one minute remaining here in the first quarter. Cotto again with that bunch formation. They'll get the play from the sideline. 
And normally it's been we're here where they go with the direct snap. Now they'll go with the shotgun, two receivers. They'll give it to DeBruce. Right side he runs. Gets around one tackler. Still on his feet. Has a first down. And will dip out of bounds at around the 23-yard line. A great play by DeBruce. And once again, showing off his agility to get around the tackler and pick up the first down. You can see there almost bottled up. Breaks the tackle. And skirts out of bounds at around the 23 after picking up the first for the Spartans. Nose of the football will be inside the 22-yard line. They'll go power eye formation. Tremblay is the deep back. They send to Bruce right to left. In motion, he'll give it to Tremblay again. Tremblay running left side, a big touchdown already. This time, stays on his feet, spins away from a couple of tacklers, and will have what looks to be another first down at the nine-yard line. It will set the Spartans up at a first and goal. And the first quarter will come to an end with the Spartans on top, 8-6. to six. It's been a good one thus far, folks, seven minutes in. We'll come back for quarter number two on WBON-TV. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries. And home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. At CT Diesel Performance, they promise not to do anything to your vehicle that they wouldn't do to their own. Chris Thorne and the gang don't just work on diesel vehicles either. They also repair all auto gas vehicles and are fully serviced and ready to take on any job. Nothing is too big or too small for CT Diesel Performance. Located just off exit 97, CT Diesel can even come get your car if you have a problem while driving down I-75. CT Diesel Performance in Richmond and at ctdiesel.us. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. We're back on WBON-TV here in the conference championship game of the CMSAC 7th grade contest here. Tonight's game is provided by Brewer Development Company, Yeagle Contracting, Team Land Snail Realtors, Affordable Service Solutions, and Denim and Blythe Company. Here on the stations of Volume for Broadcasting, WBON-TV, second quarter about to begin. It will be a first and goal from the nine-yard line for the Spartans, now going right to left. If you are tuning us in in the black uniforms, the black helmets, and Cottle. Got a big touchdown, 42-yarder from... Tremblay on that opening drive. He had a big carry on this drive to set him up now inside the 10. And a first and goal to Bruce. And the lineup in the Wildcat formation again. He'll take the direct snap as he looks over to the sideline. Snap was high and short to Bruce running around trying to find a hole. Gets away from one tackler and in to the end zone for six. The Bruce showing off the shiftiness. And we'll take another look at that one, folks. A bobble or a bot snap. He has to go chase it down. Gets away from one tackler and into the end zone. 14-6, your score. Spartans again going to go for the two-point conversion. Bentley going to go up under center. Tremblay is the deep back on the eye formation to Bruce again in motion. They give it to Tremblay, and he'll be in for six or for two more. Take on the two-point conversion. It's 16-6. Cottle, 6.56 left to play in the first half. We're coming back in one minute on WBON-TV.
Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and Lancaster. For your car, home, farm, or business, Linville Insurance offers preferred pricing from more than 40 top-rated companies. With our state-of-the-art technology, we do business the way you want it, virtually where everything is handled electronically or in person at one of our two locations. Linville Insurance, where our values haven't changed. Treat people the way you want to be treated, always do what's right, help others, and give good advice. That's what you can expect from Linville Insurance. Come see what makes Linville Insurance unlike any other agency in the area. Call or click today. As soon as the second half or the second quarter gets going, it's a touchdown and two-point conversion for Cottle. They lead 16-6 to six and will kick off with Tremblay. Another good kick. This one returnable from the far side around the 27-yard line. And the return man going to be wrapped up and brought down at around the 39 Sets up the Rockets in good field position as we are underway here in the second quarter. The seventh grade game in the conference championships for the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference. Michael Watkins here with you. and Our second of three middle school games this week. The other one will be later on this evening as this Cottle School will have the eighth grade team taking on Clark Moores. Two teams from there in Richmond playing here in the conference championship game here tonight. First and 10 for the Rockets. Had a beautiful opening drive that marched them down the field. Isaiah Jackson kept off that long drive. They'll give it to him again here near his side. Jackson's running. Big hole for Jackson. He stiff arms the defender, still on his feet, and he'll be pushed out of bounds by DeBruce near the 20 yard line. A great play by the Spartans as they take it from their own 39 down the field, and another big hole provided by that offensive line. And Jackson does the rest. You can see the stiff arm there on the tackler. And Jackson pushed out around the 20. Timeout by the Spartans with a 10-point lead. It's 6.38 to play. We'll come back on WBON-TV. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. We all know that Madison HVAC is the leader in residential and commercial heating and air in Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. But did you know that they are now introducing Madison Remodeling Services? That's right, you're going to get the same great service for everything. Not only for your heating and air services, but the construction and remodeling services as well. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC now offers complete remodeling services for Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC. We fix that two Rockets have it first and 10 from the 21 yard line they say Jackson ran out at around the 21 Bullock up under center leads are now the tailback dotting the eye and we're going to have a false start against the Rockets glad to have you along folks here on WBON TV Michael Watkins our producer tonight Austin Hanks our cameraman Alex Carbosh don't forget, coming up later on this evening, the eighth grade game will be in a separate live stream following the conclusion of this one and the trophy ceremony. Back at up five yards to now the 26-yard line for the Rockets. A pass has yet to be attempted by either of these two teams, but when you run the football like they have been, you'll need to pass. Speaking of, Leger still on his feet. He's got a first down, and finally he runs out of bounds. These running backs are dominating in the game here tonight. As we've seen both running backs for each team. 
As we see Leger here with the big play, and again, blocking downfield, so important, setting up that big play. It'll be first and goal for the Rockets from the eight-yard line as they try to creep closer. Down by ten, six and a half to play in the first half. They'll hand it off, Leger right side, and he is going to get into the end zone, showing off the speed. 16-14, touchdown, Rockets. The first drive, it was a lot of Jackson. This drive, it's Leger on back-to-back -back plays, getting them down the field and in for six. That'll trim the lead to four, 16-12, Rockets. Down by four, and they're going to go for two one more time and try to keep this at a two-point ball game. Bullock will go up under center. Two receivers set. Power eye formation. They're going to throw. Bullock looking in the end zone. He'll throw. Caught. Two-point conversion successful. Rockets cut it to two. It's 16-14. Rock Castle County. What a nice play here as Bullock rolls out. The two-point conversion is successful. And the Rockets down by just two. 626 to play. We'll come back in one minute on WBON TV. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-988. 50201. Being prepared for various types of disasters is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of your family, friends, and community. The Madison County Emergency Management Agency and the Chemical Stockpile Emergency Preparedness Program is here and ready to support community emergency response. For how to be prepared, make emergency kits, know your zone, and shelter in place information, contact EMA CSEP at 624-4787 or visit madisoncountyky.us forward slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP, your partner in preparedness is off a caudal player a dangerous play there but the Spartans will keep possession as they will have the football the 47 yard line it's been a lot of running plays and a lot of success on the ground for each of these two teams here in the opening first half 16 14 the only difference right now was the Austin Tremblay two-point conversion off the touchdown that he scored on that opening drive for the Spartans. Now they take over from their own 47-yard line, going right to left. Caudill again in the black uniforms, the black helmets. DeBruce going to line up in the Wildcat formation. And the flag comes in, false start. So back him up five yards again to the 42-yard line. These two teams playing nip and tuck right now. Good back and forth action. The running backs doing the majority of the work with DeBruce and Tremblay for Cottle and Jackson and Leger for the Rockets. Bentley in the shotgun. He'll hand it right side to DeBruce. DeBruce runs right into a tackler, and he is pushed hard to the ground. What a play made by the defense of Rock Castle County. That is number six, Anthony Kendrick. And man, oh man, what a tackle as he WWE like spine buster into the field here at Rock Castle County. It'll be second down and long for the Spartans. You had the penalty, and then you take on the loss on that one. DeBruce in motion again. This time they give it to him right side. Running backward now gets ahead of steam, running to the far sideline. He's going to be tackled across the 40, just shy of the 41-yard line. So it'll be third and long coming up. 
about third and 16, third and a long 16, short 17 yards for this Spartans offense. They had a third and long on their opening drive, which ended up being a touchdown for Tremblay. We'll see if they can get a big play here, pick up the first down, or if the Rockets can get it back and take their first lead of the ball game. Receiver to the near side is Brungbaugh. They'll give it to Tremblay left side, and he is going to be wrapped up and tackled at the original line of scrimmage. That is the 47-yard line, fourth and 10 coming up for the Spartans, and that offense looking like they're going to stay out there and try to pick up this first down. Coach Brumbaugh so talking to his quarterback, Bentley, as we are under four and a half to play now in the first half. Spartans have had a lot of big plays on the ground tonight, but we have yet to see them attempt to pass. We'll see if Bentley's got one in him here, the sixth grader. Bentley, hand the pistol. DeBruce in motion. They'll give it to him, running right side. DeBruce cannot shake off the tackle. He picks up three yards, but well short of the sticks. And the Rockets will take over following the turnover on downs from midfield and looking to take their first lead of the ball game. Great defense from Rockcastle County aided by that false start penalty. And now Caudill wants to talk it over. Trailing or leading by two, 4.02 to play in the first half. We'll come back on WBON-TV. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem. Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer, and in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cub Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. As we come out of the timeout, it's a two-point lead for Rock Castle or for a fo for Cottle. Had to do so many games this week. I was just trying try to remember what team I'm covering here. But it's a two-point lead for Cottle. Rock Castle County has the football, and Bullock will go up under center. Two receivers each way. And he'll hand it off to Jackson. Step arm and go defender. Jackson will have the first down. Down the sideline he goes, and he is going to take it to the house. 50 yards for Isaiah Jackson. Six points on the board for the Rockets, and they take their first lead of the ball game. Did he step out of bounds, tiptoeing down the sideline? He did not, and the touchdown for the Rockets puts them in front for the first time this evening. What a play by Jackson. 50 yards downfield, his second score of the ball game. Three forty-nine left to play, and Rockcastle County with some momentum on their side. They get their first stop of the game, and then one play later, they now take the lead. Two-point conversion pending again. Bullock going to keep it. Blockers in front, running right side. A flag comes in. Two-point conversion is good, but let's see the carry. Let's see what the flag is. He did get inside the end zone, but I believe this is going to be a hold against the Rockets. So they'll have to go forward again, back it up five yards, or ten yards, excuse me. 349 left to play. Now Rockcastle County in front, 20 to 16.
So spotted at the 13-yard line. Bullock going to go up under center again. A receiver each way. The officials talking it over here. Meeting of the minds. Austin Hanks here with us tonight. Alex Garbosh, our cameraman. Appreciate you being with us here on a Thursday night. Now they're going to spot it at the 11-yard line. So Rock Castle County still going to go for it. Two receivers out there, one each way for Bullock. He'll hand it off to Leger. Leger breaks one tackle, and he is going to spin his way into the end zone. Two-point conversion successful. And this time it's Leger who gets it in the end zone for two. And Rock Castle County now on top, 22-16, 349 left to play in the first half. A lot of good action here, folks. Don't go away. We're coming back in one minute on WBON-TV. So the I'll get there quick plumbing guy got there quick. But he left just as quick. He did fix the leak in the kitchen drain. Yeah, too bad this is the bathroom. And that isn't even the culprit. Ah, there she is. At Mr. Ritter Plumbing, why do we go through an exhaustive 14-point checklist? To make sure we fix even the problem behind the problem. Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing with. Yeah, it is because they're going to kick it from the 45. Back here on WBON TV, going to kick this football off from the Cottle 45 yard line, a sportsman like conduct penalty following the two point conversion. And Campbell will now kick it off from the Cottle 45. So the Spartans having some trickle down effect. They had the false start penalty on their last drive as this one going to be taken again by an up man, and they will keep possession, start this job at the 33-yard line. But after that false start penalty on their last drive, it has all gone downhill. They went for it on fourth and 10, did not pick up the first down, and now the Spartans will come out down by six, 349 left to play in the second quarter. They now spot the football at the nose. Inside the 34-yard line here on the left hash mark. Can the offense get it going again? Each team has scored every time they've had the football except for the last drive for Cottle. Bentley going to go up under center. He'll send a man in motion. Right to left. Hand it off Tremblay. Big hole provided. Tremblay here on the near side, and he is pushed out at the 40 nine-yard line. Matt Rome's nephew, Matt Rome, the director of athletics at EKU, watching us tonight. Appreciate Matt tuning us in. And Trim Blaze showing off that lineage of sports and that family. How about the Colonels? Had a big win this past week over Central Arkansas. Got a bye this week or an off week before Back at home next week. It's always good to win on homecoming. Of course, CKU did that. And they're going to have the inaugural Opportunity Bowl here soon as well. Coming up in a few short weeks. Man in motion. Bentley going to hand it off to the second man through. And not much running room for number 23, Dalton Maynard. We'll get it inside Rockcastle County territory at the 47-yard line. Second and seven coming up for the Spartans. Under three to play in the first half. Cottle had the lead, but it was taken away after the 50-yard touchdown run by Isaiah Jackson on the last drive for the Rockets. Bentley 
Going to fake it to DeBruce. It's Tremblay. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. And he will have it inside the 40. First down for Cottle at the Rockcastle County 36-yard line. And Tremblay showing off the moves there. Little okey-doke as he gets to round one defender. And he'll slide it inside the 40 again at the 36-yard line. This Spartans offense trying to get it moving again. A touchdown will tie us up. And the key now, you want to take some time off the clock and not let Rockcastle County have some time to get themselves another score before this quarter ends. If you can, punch it in yourself. Bentley up under center will give it to Tremblay again. And he spins off a tackler near the 35-yard line. Gain of a yard. Under two minutes to play. 22-16 your score. Cottle down by six, trying to march it downfield and tie it up. At the 34-yard line, so they'll give him a yard and a half on the carry by Tremblay. Now DeBruce back in the backfield, dot in the eye formation. DeBruce gets the handoff, running right side, big hole. Now cuts it back up the middle. Still on his feet, and DeBruce can't break the shoestring tackle of Leger. And he's brought down at the 22, maybe the 21-yard line. Let's see where they spot this football. They say the 22, so it will be a first down. And Cottle, as we near the one-minute mark of the second quarter, trying to tie this game up as we head into the locker room. A snap will happen under a minute to play. Bentley up under center. Tremblay the deep back. They'll give it to him, running right side. And it takes three or four guys to bring him down near the 15-yard line. A nice pickup on the play by Tremblay. And the Spartans call the timeout. We'll stop this clock with 42.6 to play. Down by six. We'll come back in one minute on WBON-TV. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. We're back on WBON-TV. Yeah, 42.6 to play here on the CMSAC Conference Championship game. As Michael Watkins here with you on a Thursday night in Rockcastle County. And such a weird night running into the morning, all the rain. But this field crew done a great job to get this field ready for the game this evening. And it's turned out to be great football weather. But by the time it was kickoff time for these games tonight. Before the snap, for the Rockets want to call the timeout. Give us a great chance to thank tonight's sponsors. I want to say thank you to the folks over at Yeagle Contracting. They handle all types of building and commercial construction throughout Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, and Tennessee. We're also brought to you by Affordable Service Solutions, HVAC. Affordable Service Solutions is a full-service heating and air conditioning company based in Richmond. They handle both residential and commercial installations throughout Kentucky. And Brewer Development Company. Previous developments include pharmacies, restaurants, office buildings, O'Reilly Auto Parts, and medical clinics. And we're also brought to you by Team Land Snail Realty Group. 
We love to help first-time home buyers, and they can help you buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And Denham Blythe Company. Denham Blythe is a design-build company in Lexington. Visit their website, denham-blythe.com. Forty-two point six to play. A timeout for each team before this snap, and a different play set up here for the Spartans as they've got trips left. Tailback and the pistol lined up behind the quarterback Bentley. Now a wing into the slot. Bentley going to throw. Got an open man, and it's going to be a touchdown. Spartans get it in the end zone off the pass from Bentley, and what a play drawn up. So many running plays here in this ball game, but the tight end breaks loose, and he's wide open. A great pass by Bentley to tie us up at 22 apiece. And that's number 85 for the Spartans. Cannon Cook, the sixth grader, plays tight end and defensive line. Got great hands for a big guy, and that is his second touchdown catch of the season. Two-point conversion pending. Cottle trying to take this lead into the locker room. Tremblay gets the handoff. Two-point conversion will be not good. And we are all tied up. 22-22. Less than one minute to play in the first half. We're coming back on WBON-TV. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. At CT Diesel Performance, they promise not to do anything to your vehicle that they wouldn't do to their own. Chris Thorne and the gang don't just work on diesel vehicles either. They also repair all auto gas vehicles and are fully serviced and ready to take on any job. Nothing is too big or too small for CT Diesel Performance. Located just off exit 97, CT Diesel can even come get your car if you have a problem while driving down I-75. CT Diesel Performance in Richmond and at ctdiesel.us. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. Tied at 22, it is Cottle and Rock Castle County here in the seventh grade game. The championship game of the CMSAC it has been a fun one thus far. Each team getting some big plays from the running backs, and that was the first pass of the game by Bentley to the tight end, Cook, and it puts the score all knotted up at 22 apiece with 37.4 left to play in this second quarter. Tremblay going to kick it off, this time a little squib kick, and a, a nice aggressive play by the up man from Rockcastle County. The two guys in front of him kind of slow to get to it, but it's Bullock, the quarterback, who actually runs up and dives on the football. What a fun night it is going to be here. We've still got a half of football left to play in the seventh grade game. Don't forget the eighth grade game will follow as well. It'll feature two teams from Richmond, the Caldwell eighth grade team versus Clark Moores. The Rockets going to come up with Bullock under center. And Jackson, who ran one to the house, 50-yard touchdown on their last drive, one-play drive. And Bullock is going to hand it off to him again, running right side. Jackson slips, stays on his feet. Tremblay will push him out of bounds as a flag does come in. And I believe this will be a block in the back against the Rockets. We'll see what the call is as the clock ticks down to 27.6. Appreciate you hanging out with us here on WBON TV. And, folks, if you see these sponsors, whether it be the commercials or the ones that are mentioned, go by and tell them thank you for sponsoring tonight's coverage. Love getting out and seeing the future Madison Central Indians or, in this case, some future Rock Castle County Rockets as well. We were over in Berea 
Tuesday night. Got to see some future Berea Pirates and Foley Warriors heading up to Madison Southern in a couple of years. So it was an exciting night over there in Berea Tuesday night and out here in the CMSAC Conference Championship Games. A two-receiver set for Bullock. Jackson the deep back. They'll give it to him again. Cuts it back up the middle. Not much running room there. And he will be tackled at the 49-yard line. And the Rockets want to call the timeout. We're all tied up at 22 apiece. 21 seconds left to play in the quarter. We're coming back in one minute on WBON-TV. At the Estill Clinic and Irvin Healthcare Pharmacies, we make it our mission to care for all of your pharmacy needs as quickly and conveniently as possible. Whether you need a prescription filled, an immunization, or help with an over-the-counter need, our pharmacists are here to help. Both of our Estill County locations offer text and call reminders, automatic refills, and medication synchronization, and are equipped with drive throughs All of these services help us save you time and make sure you always have the medication you need. Stop in or give us a call today. To some, it's just a boat. But to Jim, it's his escape from meetings, traffic, and the grind of daily life. He may not catch any keepers, but he wouldn't trade his day on the lake for anything in the world. That's why his boat is insured by Kentucky Farm Bureau. But it's not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. It's Jim's Recharge the Battery Farm Bureau. My Farm Bureau. David Mayo, John Rader, and Chris Hornsby with Kentucky Farm Bureau. 21 and a half seconds left to play in the second quarter. Michael Watkins here with you on a Thursday night in the conference, middle school athletic conference, the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference here in Central Kentucky. And this game going down to the wire here in the first half, tied at 22. Bullock going to roll out to the left side, hand it off to Leger. Leger looking left side, got us some space on the sideline, will cut it back, and he is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Rockets. And you know, most times they say when you are running down the clock, just run the football, let this half come to an end. You don't want anything bad to happen, but Rockcastle County staying aggressive. They keep the ball on the ground, and it ends up in pay dirt. Six points for Leger. And it's now 28-22 in favor of the Rockets. How about the running game for both these two teams? But for Rockcastle County, it has provided them a six-point lead with less than seven seconds to play in the first half. Bullock again up under center. He'll give it to the fullback. First man through, and he will be tackled short of the goal line. 28-22. We will keep it right here, folks. A commercial break will follow the conclusion here of the first half on WBON-TV. Again, one more time, we'll say a special thank you to the sponsors of tonight's CMSAC Conference Championship Games. Eagle Contracting. Previous projects include pharmacies, restaurants, office buildings, medical clinics, among other industries. You can give them a call at 859-420-9324, located in Lexington. We're also brought to you by Affordable Service Solutions. Affordable Service Solutions is proud to support the athletic programs and youth of Kentucky. Call Affordable Heating and Air for your fall inspection today. And Brewer Development Company. Brewer Development Company is an established commercial developer based in Lexington. Call Eric today for your development plans in your industry at 859-475-3931. And Team Land Snail Realty Group, local real estate father and daughter team. Call 859-544-2761 and Denham Blythe Company. Visit their website at denham-blythe.com. Here in the second quarter, following the touchdown and failed two-point conversion attempt, 6.9 left to play on the clock, and Campbell will kick it off for the Rockets. Interesting note here, as the Rockets get that late touchdown, they will also be receiving the second-half kickoff. So it makes that late score even more important as their team now in the driver's seat just want to try to hold Cottle out of the end zone here on this final play of this second quarter. 
We will take a short commercial break and come back. We'll have your Bishop Small Engine Repair Halftime Show. Run down the first half highlights and stats of this CMSAC Conference Championship game. Ball on the left hash mark for the Spartans. Brumball wide right for Bentley, the quarterback, who is one of one through the air. It was a touchdown pass to Cook on the last drive for Cottle. Bentley will take the snap. He'll give it to DeBruce right side. DeBruce gets around the edge, now runs into his own man, the lead blocker, and is going to be taken down as the first half will come to an end. 28-22, your halftime score. We'll take a short commercial break and come back and look back at the highlights of the first half and give you some stats on the Bishop's Small Engine Repair Halftime Show. We're coming right back on WBON-TV. Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and in Lancaster. For your car, home, farm, or business, Linville Insurance offers preferred pricing for more than 40 top-rated companies. With our state-of-the-art technology, we do business the way you want it, virtually where everything is handled electronically or in person at one of our two locations. Linville Insurance, where our values haven't changed. Treat people the way you want to be treated, always do what's right, help others, and give good advice. That's what you can expect from Linville Insurance. Come see what makes Linville Insurance unlike any other agency in the area. Call or click today. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. We all know that Madison HVAC is the leader in residential and commercial heating and air in Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. But did you know that they are now introducing Madison Remodeling Services? That's right, you're going to get the same great service for everything. Not only for your heating and air services, but the construction and remodeling services as well. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC now offers complete remodeling services for Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC. We fix that too. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. 
Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. We're back on WBON TV. An exciting first half as we bring you into the Bishop Small Engine Repair Halftime Show at Bishop's. And a variety of outdoor power equipment is second to none. Visit Bishop Small Engine Repair on North Estill Avenue in Richmond to see all the latest brands available at Bishop's. It's a six point lead for Rockcastle County at the first half, and Cottle jumped out to a quick start, but the Rockets have answered and have taken the lead 28-22 at the half as we look back at some of the first half highlights. Xavier Leger got things started off for the Rockets with a couple of nice carries on that opening drive. And you can see on this play, there's Leger getting a nice pickup for the Rockets, setting up a touchdown for them a few plays later. And they were able to get on the board early in this one Leger, a touchdown run. Isaiah Jackson with two touchdown runs there in the first half. One of those, a 50-yarder. And that one was what gave the Rockets the lead. Cottle came back, tied it up on a touchdown pass from Bentley, the quarterback, to Cannon Cook, the sixth grader tied in. And Rockets didn't waste any time as they marched it back down the field and they eventually would take the lead again on a touchdown run by Isaiah Jackson, and they lead 28-22. We had the touchdown run by Davion DeBruce in the first half, but the first play of the game was the 42-yard touchdown run by Austin Tremblay, and Tremblay moved to Richmond from California. Big, strong, physical player, 5'11", 198, and all muscle, said A.J. Chandler when he gave me these rosters today, and... Tremblay showing off the speed and the power that he has. As you can see here on this carry, showing off the shiftiness that he has, even for a big man running over would-be tacklers. And that set up again a touchdown a couple of plays later on the touchdown pass. The only pass of the ball game from either team was a touchdown from Bentley to Cannon Cook. We are live here at Rockcastle County with the two teams and a tight one here in the CMSAC Conference Championship games. It's 28-22. The Spartans down by six. We will take a commercial break and come back and get you ready for the third quarter when we come back on WBON-TV. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-988. 50201. Being prepared for various types of disasters is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of your family, friends, and community. The Madison County Emergency Management Agency and the Chemical Stockpile Emergency Preparedness Program is here and ready to support community emergency response. For how to be prepared, make emergency kits, know your zone, and shelter in place information, contact EMA CSEP at 624-4787 or visit madisoncountyky.us forward slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP, your partner in preparedness. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. 
With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. Welcome back into the Bishop Small Engine Repair Halftime Show located on North Estill Avenue in Richmond. Bishop's has all your needs for lawn care. And if you've got a, a lawn mower or a tractor that needs to be looked at, make sure to take it over to Bishop's and they'll take good care of you in Richmond. So Rockcastle County kicked off to get things started. They trailed 8 nothing after an Austin Tremblay touchdown and two-point conversion. It was back and forth action for the majority of the first half, but Rockcastle County got a late touchdown on the big run by Leger. And now they have a six-point lead and will receive the second-half kickoff. Michael Watkins here with you on WBON-TV. Glad to have you along with us here, folks, as middle school football action coming at you live in Rockcastle County. A new kicker out there for the Spartans, and now they bring it closer. It might be a little onside kick. Let's see what's up the sleeve for the Spartans. This one bounces off a Rockcastle County up man and is picked up by the Spartans. All the antics leading up to the kickoff draw your attention, and it ends up being a onside kick recovered by Rockcastle, or by Caldwell, when there is a player down on the field for Rockcastle County. They'll check on him, and hopefully he's okay. So we can go back and look at that uh, convert, or the recovery of the two-point, or the, the onside kick there, Austin. Too late to go back and look at that. We are live here on WBON TV. As, you know, as they check on the injured player, it gives us time to say thank you to our great sponsors tonight, Mike Brewer Development Company. Eagle Contracting, Team Land Snail Realtors, Affordable Service Solutions, Heating and Air, and Denim and Blythe Company. Good to see that kid up and running. He is off the field. Looks like he'll be ready to get back in there here soon. Going to shake it off. Again, with all the rain and, and everything that occurred, the ground probably a lot softer than normal because of the rain build up. Twenty-eight, twenty-two is the score, and Cottle, after recovering the onside kick, will now have the football and a chance to tie it up to get things started here in the third quarter. It's in Tremblay in motion. He'll be the lead blocker for De Bruce, running here on the near side. De Bruce, bouncing around in the backfield, trying to find a hole, finds one. Now cuts it all the way back to the far side. De Bruce, blockers in front, and he is finally going to be wrapped up at the ankles and tackled by a Rockcastle County secondary defender. But DeBruce doing all that work for about a 15-yard pickup. A great job by DeBruce to pick up the first down. And again, just bouncing around in the backfield, being patient with it, trying to find a hole. It was finally there. And he is going to have a first and 10 for his team inside the 25-yard line. Bentley, the sixth grade quarterback. You 
He'll be in the shotgun. He'll send a man in motion. And they'll give it to DeBruce again. Same play, basically, but this time DeBruce slips and falls. Again, the field conditions after all the rain from last night and this morning, not the best, even though you got to credit the, the great folks here at Rockcastle County for all the hard work they did to get the field condition as to what it is. But still, all the rain and stuff, it's going to make the ground a lot more slippery. And that time to Bruce, just trying to shift his way, plant his feet, and he fell down. 5.40 to play in the third quarter, a six-point lead. Ball spotted back at the 27-yard line. Second down and 13. Bentley sends Tremblay left to right, and a flag comes in. This will be, I believe, a false start against the Spartans. It will be. So back them up five more yards, and a first and 10 from the 25 is turned into second and 18. Cottle going the wrong way again, and just like we saw on that one drive that they stagnant, had to turn the ball over on downs, couldn't pick up the first down on fourth and 10. That's really where this game changed momentum. They're trying to get it back here after recovering the onside kick, trying to tie it up, march this drive down the field. Bentley sends Tremblay in motion. They'll fake it to him, end around. They give it to DeBruce, and he is slammed down to the ground. What a tackle by Braden Campbell. Again, Cottle. I like the movement in the backfield prior to the snap, but give credit to Campbell as he broke through the defensive line or the offensive line of Cottle and was right there as DeBruce took the handoff. Again, Cottle going the wrong way, back to the 36-yard line. It is third and long. Bentley will have trips right. Tell back to his right side in the backfield. He's looking right. He'll throw deep, and that pass is going to be incomplete. And Bentley's showing off the arm, but nobody there to make the reception. And now it'll be fourth and long for Cottle. Need to get to the 14 basically past the 14 to the 13-yard line, and this ball going to be spotted at the 37. So it's fourth and 23. Cottle moving in some players here for this fourth down attempt. Not a lot of field goals in middle school football, especially from this distance. They'll have a receiver to each side for Bentley. This time he'll go up and pull off the towel of his center. Send to Bruce in motion. They'll give it to him and on the end around again. The ball's loose. It's a fumble picked up by the Rockets at the 45-yard line, and they'll take over with good field position after the turnover. So not a terrible play there for Cottle. You're basically going to give them the football where they have it anyway, but you tack on another turnover and a little bit of momentum swinging the way of the Rockets yet again. Cottle took nearly three minutes off the clock on that opening drive of the third quarter, and now Rockcastle County with a six-point lead and the football looking to add to that advantage. They give it to Jackson, running left side, gets around the first line of defense, and we'll have a first down near the 40-yard line of the Spartans. Great play design again. And when you got the speed of a Leger or a Jackson, you can just hand it off to them. If they've got any kind of a hole, they can do the rest themselves. One receiver each way for Bullock. Jackson again, the deep back on first and 10. They'll give it to him running right side this time. A good hole, breaks one tackle, and is finally tackled at the 37-yard line. And trying to see who the tackle was made by. It is number 76 for Cottle. Good tackle out in space. 
by Peyton Thomas. 3.42 left to play in the third quarter. Clock will move from the 37-yard line. It is going to be second and six for this Rockets offense. And Jackson will come over to the near side and grab a quick break. He'll hand it off again, right side again. Big hole for Leisure. And he is going to slide down to the 24-yard line. Another first down on the ground for the Rockets. And the way this offensive line is opening up the holes for Rock Castle County, going to be very hard to stop them if they get a two-touchdown lead with the way they run the football. They can work that clock and work the lead in their favor. At the 24-yard line on the right hash mark, Leger will stay in at tailback. Bullock going to fake it to him, keep it himself on the quarterback rollout, and he will dive forward to the 21-yard line. A minimal pickup, but still positive yardage for the Rockets on a running play as they fake it to the, the running back, Leger. And the quarterback, Bullock, will have it second down and about six, maybe seven yards from the 21-yard line. Leger will stay in at tailback. They'll run it to him left side. He's got a defender in front of him, gets around the edge, bounces it back outside, and will run out of bounds. Looks like he's going to be about a yard, maybe two yards short of the first down marker. They'll place this football at the 12, and they say it's a first down. So move the sticks. Couldn't see on the far sideline, but another first down for Rock Castle County. This time it's a first and 10 from the Cottle 12. And again, if they punch it in here, folks, it's going to be very hard for Cottle to come back with the way the Rockets run the football. Bullock will go up under center again. They hand it off to the fullback. First man through. He's going to get maybe two yards. If they give him the nine, it'll be a pickup of three. He did get it across the 10-yard line. Gain of three yards. Second and nine coming up, or second and seven, excuse me, coming up for Rockcastle County after the three-yard gain. We're nearing the two-minute mark of the third quarter. Rock Castle County trying to win the seventh grade championship game here in the CMSAC. It's Jackson, and he is hit immediately. A nice defensive play by the Spartans. Jackson has hurt them so many times tonight. That time they get to him before he can pick up steam and get going. Great tackle. Third and seven. You can hear some ACDC in the background. They try to get the players and the fans fired up for this third down play. And going to be a false start. The right tackle or the tight end here on the near side had jumped a tad early. So you go from third and seven now to third and 12, back it up to the 14-yard line. Rock Castle County can pick up a first down at the one-yard line. Don't forget, coming up following this game, we'll drop this live feed. We'll hop up on a second live stream for the eighth grade game between Cottle and Clark Moores, the two teams out of Richmond traveling up here to play in the eighth grade game. Bullock going to hand it off up the middle. It's Jackson again. Tries to break it outside. He will, and he will skirt in for six. Touchdown, Rockets. That is the third touchdown of the game for Jackson. And, folks, look here. They have him bottled up on the replay. You can see he's hitting the backfield, finds a crease, and then shows off the speed. He turns on the Jets and will run into the end zone for six more. It is now 34-22, Rock Castle County. Two-point conversion will come from the two-and-a-half-yard line. 108 left to play in the third. The Spartans have got to get the offense going. 
Bullock up under center. He'll throw for the two-point conversion, and it's behind his intended target, incomplete. A 14-point lead for the Rockets with 108 left to play in the third. We're going to come back in one minute on WBON-TV. So, the I'll get there quick plumbing guy got there quick. But he left just as quick. He did fix the leak in the kitchen drain. Yeah, too bad this is the bathroom. And that isn't even the culprit. Ah, there she is. At Mr. Ritter Plumbing, why do we go through an exhaustive 14-point checklist? To make sure we fix even the problem behind the problem. Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing clip. Campbell to kick off following another score by Rock Castle County. This one taken by an up man at the 49 yard line. The Rockets lead 34 to 22. They have scored on every single drive that they have had the football other than the ending of the first half. One all left to play in the third quarter. It's a 12-point lead. A little confusion by the chain gang going the wrong way. Get them straightened out. 34-22. Can the Spartans answer? DeBruce going to take the direct snap. In the backfield. Looks over to the sideline. High snap, they'll give it to Tremblay, and he has nowhere to go. Stays on his feet, he broke that tackle, but the officials will blow the play dead before he can get loose, and forward progress will give him the 44-yard line. So a loss of five as the Spartans again try to get tricky with it. The double rev or the reverse from DeBruce to Tremblay did not work, and it's going to be a... Loss of five yards, second and 15, coming up for Cottle. As we will dip under 30 seconds left to play in this quarter. Cottle able to get one more playoff, unless they throw an incompletion here. Bentley going to go into the shotgun. They'll send a man in motion, that's to Bruce to the left side. Going to throw it out in the flat, that pass nearly picked off. And that will stop the clock with 10 seconds left to play. Here in the third quarter, it'll be third and 15 for the Spartans. And you can see Cottle starting to press a little bit. You can feel the pressure starting to mount. Yeah. 10.1 left to play in the third quarter. It's third and 15 for Cottle. Can they pick up the first down? Bentley going to go into the shotgun. Tell back to his right. DeBruce in motion again. They're going to bring a blitz. Bentley will throw. Pass is complete. And it's caught by number seven, but no, much, no room to run. Completion to Derek McElwee as the quarter comes to an end. 34-22, fourth and 12 coming back for Cottle when we come back on WBON-TV. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Talk to State Farm agent Jerry Goble today. 
At CT Diesel Performance, they promise not to do anything to your vehicle that they wouldn't do to their own. Chris Thorne and the gang don't just work on diesel vehicles either. They also repair all auto gas vehicles and are fully serviced and ready to take on any job. Nothing is too big or too small for CT Diesel Performance. Located just off exit 97, CT Diesel can even come get your car if you have a problem while driving down I-75. CT Diesel Performance in Richmond and at ctdiesel.us. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today. With no payments for six months and low rates, there's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. The fourth quarter about to begin in the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference here at Rock Castle County, the championship game for the seventh and eighth grade. Seventh grade here coming down to the wire. The 12 point lead for Rock Castle County. Big play here, fourth and 12. Bentley pressured, goes down, and lost the football recovered by the Rockets, and they will have it at the Cottle 40 yard line. What a play as the defensive end comes off the edge. Bentley never even sees him untouched and loses the football. A huge play in the game as it sets the Rockets up with a first and 10 inside Cottle territory at the 40-yard line. What a great defensive play, and that might be the one that seals the deal for the Rockets here in the conference title game. The leader will be the running back. You'll have a two receiver set for Bullock, one on each side. Same formation it's been all night. They give it to Leger. He tries to squirt through a couple of defenders. Good tackle made by Tremblay and number 85 Cook for the Spartans. And Cottle will call the timeout. 6.43 left to play. Cottle wants to stop the clock and talk it over. We'll come back on WBON TV. Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and Lancaster. For your car, home, farm, or business, Linville Insurance offers preferred pricing for more than 40 top-rated companies. With our state-of-the-art technology, we do business the way you want it, virtually where everything is handled electronically or in person at one of our two locations. Linville Insurance, where our values haven't changed. Treat people the way you want to be treated, always do what's right, help others, and give good advice. That's what you can expect from Linville Insurance. Come see what makes Linville Insurance unlike any other agency in the area. Call or click today. Isaiah Jackson will get the handoff on second down and tackled or pushed out of bounds about four yards short of the first down marker. So it's going to be third and four for Rock Castle County. Rockets want to go power formation. Two fullbacks in front of Jackson. He's hit and he will go down. Tremblay with a huge tackle in the backfield. Forward progress will give him no gain. It'll be fourth and four for the Rockets. And if Cottle can get a stop here, there's still time in this ball game. But if Rock Castle County can get the first down on fourth and four and continue to work this clock on this drive, it might be over with. Bullock going to give it to the tailback. First down, and it could be more. Yeager to the house, touchdown Rockets. Yeager and Jackson have put on a show for Rock Castle County. Six more here, and that will put it out of reach. 40 to 22, Rock Castle County, and Yeager, or Leacher, excuse me, just does the damage himself. He got a good block downfield, made one man miss, and was too quick to catch 
as he marches it down the left sideline for six more. Two-point conversion will have to have a redo following the false start. Rockets will come back out and go forward again. Try to take a 20-point lead here. Bullock on a throw over the head of his intended target incomplete, but the damage is already done. Six more for Rock Castle. They lead 40-22, under six to play in the ball game, folks. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back on WBON-TV. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. We all know that Madison HVAC is the leader in residential and commercial heating and air in Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. But did you know that they are now introducing Madison Remodeling Services? That's right, you're going to get the same great service for everything. Not only for your heating and air services, but the construction and remodeling services as well. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC now offers complete remodeling services for Madison County and the Central Kentucky region. Madison Remodeling and Madison HVAC. We fix that two. 5.56 remaining in the ball game and Rock Castle County gets another rushing touchdown. They have scored on every single drive tonight, folks. That's how good this offense has been and what a game it has been for the running backs, Leger and Jackson. A little squib kick. Get a girl out of bounds, I believe. Was it touched? The official coming out near midfield. Looks like that's where the Spartans will take over. Rockcastle County on top 40-22 here on WBON-TV. It is the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference featuring teams from Garrett County, all the teams in Madison County. Rockcastle County here, and Estill County also a part of this conference. An 18-point lead, and the Rockets on their way to a championship here tonight in the championship game of the CMSAC. Cottle going to try to get some points quickly on this drive, give themselves a chance. Bentley, this sixth grader, man, he's going to be a good quarterback, folks. If you're at Madison Central, this kid's going to be there in two or three years. He'll be a player they can rely on and uh, be a bright future for this quarterback, Bentley. Only a sixth grader playing up here in the seventh grade game. He'll throw on first down. Got a man right on cue, a big play as Bentley finds his target. That is number five, Peyton Brumbaugh. Down the left sideline, that'll be a big play. It'll be a first down for the Carl Spartans. And a great job as Brumbaugh gets behind his man. And that'll be first and ten for Cottle as they hurry up to the line. Power formation here to Bruce in motion. Bentley will hand it off to Tremblay. A big hole provided. And Tremblay will waltz in for the touchdown. 40-28, Cottle not going away that easy. A two-play drive, and it gets them downfield in 50 yards, and six points later, it is only a 12-point ball game. Cottle will go for two, try to make it a 10-point deficit. Yeah. 
How about the running backs here tonight? Tremblay with another touchdown. We've already seen what DeBruce can do for Cottle, and then you look at what Jackson and Leacher have done. Tremblay spins away from a tackler here, going to be hit in the backfield and finally brought down. But a six or a, a touchdown by Tremblay will trim this deficit to just 12. It's 40 28, 5 28 left to play in the game. We're coming back on WBON TV. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-9 850201. Being prepared for various types of disasters is one of the best ways to ensure the safety of your family, friends, and community. The Madison County Emergency Management Agency and the Chemical Stockpile Emergency Preparedness Program is here and ready to support community emergency response. For how to be prepared, make emergency kits, know your zone, and shelter in place information, contact EMA CSEP at 624-4787 or visit madisoncountyky.us forward slash EMA. Madison County EMA CSEP, your partner in preparedness. Five twenty-eight left to play in the fourth quarter. Cottle not going down that easy as they get the touchdown by Tremblay, his second of the ball game. Now the onside kick. They already have one of these recovered as they kicked it off this way to begin the second half. This one is going to be fallen on by Bullock, the quarterback. He's a member of the hands team, and Rock Castle County will have it from their own 49-yard line, just shy of midfield. Rockets thought they had put it out of reach, but Cottle on a two-play 50-yard drive cuts that deficit down to 12 again, and they've got to have a stop. Spartans with just two timeouts left. Turnover is really what Cottle would need. Hand it off to Jackson. Tremblay got a hand on him, but not enough. And Jackson runs through a tackler down the sideline again. And what about this? 51 yards, Isaiah Jackson. Boy, what a speedster this kid is. It doesn't even matter whether it's him or Leacher. If they get open field, you are not going to catch them. A one-play drive makes it 46-28. And now the two-point conversion. They'll give it to Jackson again. Left side he runs. Gets away from Tremblay and the two-point conversion is successful. Make it 20-point lead for the Rockets. 48-28, 5-14 to play on WBON-TV. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem. Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer, and in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cub Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Cottle had a two-play 50-yard drive that's answered by a one-play 51-yard drive by Rock Castle County. We have had two touchdowns in less than 
15 seconds, folks, and these two teams been marching it down the field against each other. Here in the fourth quarter, Tremblay will pick this ball up and spun around, going to be wrapped up, and the officials will blow this play dead at the 38-yard line. That's where Caudill will take over with 5.07 left to play and a 20-point deficit here in this fourth quarter. Following this game, we will have the trophy presentation for you. Then our live stream for this game will end. We will pop up with a new live stream for the eighth grade game between Cottle and Clark Moores. Bentley going to go into the pistol. A little bunch formation. You know, give it to the running back on the end around. That is Jordan Goldsby. And Goldsby will have it near the first down marker at around midfield. We'll see if they give it to him. Ball on the far side of the field. That will keep the clock running, though. And now they'll stop it with 444, 443 left to play. Now they'll turn it again. They stop it to move the sticks and then get it going again once the ball is set. Bentley in the shotgun. Now it's the Bruce in motion. The little pass over the middle incomplete. Intended for number seven, McElwee. McKelvey, one of the good defenders on this Spartan football team, he leads the team in the interceptions, had two pick sixes against Madison Middle earlier this year. Four twenty-six to play in the fourth quarter. A 20-point lead for Rock Castle. Bentley sends McKelvey in motion. He'll throw, going deep, got a man, and he threw it too far in front of Brumball, incomplete. So third and ten coming up for the Spartans. And tonight's game, Isaiah Jackson and Xavier Leger, the two running backs for Rock Castle County, have done the damage for the Rockets. They have blasted off into the end zone on numerous occasions, turning on the Jets, and big plays. And how about Isaiah Jackson? A 50-yard touchdown run in the second quarter and a 51-yard touchdown run here in the fourth quarter. Bentley again the pistol this time. He'll roll out right, looking right. Got a man, and it's just through the fingertips of the intended target, incomplete. Intended for Cook again, who connected with him earlier on the touchdown pass. That'll bring up fourth down and 10 for the Spartans. Michael Watkins here with you on WBON TV. Appreciate you being here with us on a Thursday night. Our cameraman, Alex Carbosh, producer Austin Hanks this evening. Don't forget, we'll have more action for you tonight and tomorrow night. High school football action, Madison Central. will take on Pulaski Southwestern tomorrow night. That'll be in Richmond. We'll have that one for you here on WBON. Tremble in motion. Bentley going deep, incomplete. Turnover on downs, and the Rockets will take over near midfield on the Spartan side of the 50 at the 49-yard line. 4-11 left to play in the contest. And this one officially out of reach. So the Jackson, who ran the touchdown in the last time, he's going to come over to the sideline. And see, looks I think leads are over here on the sideline as well. So we may see a new running back in the game for Rock Castle County. Rockets on top by 20 with 4-11 to play in the ball game. The new running back is number 89 at 
as we get a flag in. So number 89, trying to see the number. Bullock will run over here to the near sideline and talk to the head coach as the flag will be against the Rockets and back them up five yards on the false start. Start seeing some, oh, they declined the penalty. So second down and 10. Go back to that power formation. Hand it off, and immediately down goes the tailback. Back on the Rockcastle side of the 50-yard line, back to the 47. It'll be third down and 14 for Rockcastle County with a 20-point lead. Letting this clock just wind down, taking their time. They'll snap this football to around 3.18, 3.15 left to play in the quarter. Bullock will give it to the tailback, and again, he's hit immediately. Great penetration by the defensive line of Cottle as they get to the tailback. Right as soon as he gets the football, Anthony Kendrick goes down, and it will be fourth and about 16 for Rockcastle County. Under three minutes to play in the game. Going to go for it on fourth and long. Bullock will hand it off. A big hole provided. Going to be close. And finally tackled about five yards short of the first down marker. Carter will take over from their own 46-yard line, trailing it by 20. 2.33 left to play in this game. Good job defensively by the Spartans as they get the stop, get the football back, try to get some late points on the board. Cottle going to come out. It's going to be new quarterback in the game. Miguel, we will take the snap now. And they are going to be tackled in the backfield. Miguel, we tackled back at the 40. Clock ticking down here in the game. Less than 2.30 to play. McElwee in the pistol. Now runs up under center. He'll fix the towel of his center. Now going to run it right side. McElwee gets a block on his feet. Stiff arm spins away from a defender. Still on his feet and going to be tackled at the 49-yard line. A nice job by McElwee to pick up the yardage loss, plus three more. It'll be third down and eight. McElwee again, back up under center. Sends to Bruce in motion right to left. They'll give it to Tremblay, running left side. And he is going to be tackled across the 40 and down to the 39-yard line. Nice play there as they pick up some yardage. Under 90 seconds to play. Got a first down and high snap from McElwee. He'll run right side. P and Chase cuts it back to the left side. And we'll get positive yardage near the 30-yard line. It'll be about a yard or two short of the first down. Great job by McElwee. He ran right side, saw a defender right in his face, quickly 
returned it to the left side and picks up nine. Second and one coming up for the Spartans. Under one minute now to play in this ball game. High snap. Taken off with it and tackled in the backfield is DeBruce as a Spartan player down on the field injured. And hopping up, that's McElwee who was hit. He's a little shaken up on the play. 48 seconds left, and the Spartans will call a timeout. We will take it with them and come back on WBON-TV. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get $4,500 cash allowance on all 2020 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Back here in the conference champions or the conference championship game of the Commonwealth Middle School Athletic Conference. Michael Watkins here with you on a Thursday night in Rockcastle County. 48 seconds left to play. It's a 20-point lead. And Cottle with the football. It's third and one. Bentley back in at quarterback after the injury to McElwee. Send a man in motion. High snap. Bentley going to take off running left side, and he will slip and fall in the backfield, basically near the original line of scrimmage. And it will bring up fourth and ten as this clock runs down in the fourth quarter. Under 30 seconds to play. We will have the trophy presentation following this conclusion of the game. Bentley going to throw. He's got a man picked off. Picked off by a defender from Rockcastle County. And running it near side is, I believe, Leger. See if I can get that number. Got a little mud on it. That was Leger who picked it off. And let's take another look at that one. The play to seal the game. It's Leger who hops up to get the INT. And a big run back will set up Rockcastle County at the 40. Three-yard line, they'll take one snap, and they will be crowned conference champions here tonight. What a game. Jackson and Leger both running up and down the field, had themselves a ball game. Bullock going to go up under center. He will take the snap. And that's, we'll do it. Final score, 48-28. Cottle falls to Rock Castle County. And congratulations to the Rockets, your conference champions here in the CMSAC 7th grade game. Here live on the post-game show, brought to you by Hometown Dental. And we'll look back quickly at some of the highlights of tonight's game. 48-28, your final score, and a lot of highlights to look back at. It was big plays throughout the entire game, both running the football on both sides, not just Rockcastle County, but the running backs from Cottle as well. Here's the big sack, the strip sack that occurred in the fourth quarter that set up Rockcastle County. Big plays like that defensively. And here's our man Isaiah Jackson hit. And another big tackle on the other side. So defense playing well, but it was early on whenever the running game got going. There's a big play running the football. It's Leger who had it for Rockcastle County. He scores three times. Jackson scores three times. And DeBruce made some big plays for the Spartans, you can see him dancing around in the backfield. Had a big first down on this pickup here for Cottle. As they are crowning the conference champions of the regular season, Cottle was the conference champion in the regular season. Rockcastle County were the runners up. And you can see Cottle coming out to get their trophy. Congratulations to these young men on a great season. And with everything going on with COVID and 
you know, what a year it has been, shortened season. you got to give credit to these kids and these coaches for doing the job and doing it the right way and doing it in a safe way so these kids could have a season. As Cotto comes out to get their trophy, congratulations once again to Dustin Brumball, the head coach, defensive coordinator Dustin Maynard, Eric Warford, the line coach, David Burke, another line coach, and Tim Bentley, the QB coach. So, Cottle, again, your regular season champs and second place here in the conference tournament. And Rockcastle County will receive the championship game trophy for tonight. Congratulations once again, folks. And we'll quickly crown our CT Diesel performance performance of the game. And it's our man Isaiah Jackson. Two big running touchdowns of 50 and 51 yards. Also sprinkled in a shorter touchdown run. And Isaiah Jackson is our CT Diesel performance performance of the game. If you want your vehicle to run like Isaiah Jackson and Xavier Leger did for Rock Castle County, then take it over to CT Diesel Performance in Richmond, and they'll take good care of you, whether you drive a small two-car sedan or a four-door pickup truck. Take it over to CT Diesel Performance in Richmond. Our CT Diesel Performance Performance of the Game, Isaiah Jackson from the Rockets of Rock Castle County. Congratulations to them. They are your conference champions. We are going to end this live stream, and we'll come back with a second stream for the eighth grade game. It'll be... Two teams out of Richmond, Clark Morris and Connell. That's coming your way next on WBON-TV.